home for my city like oh ages set the pace as long as you finish consumers find a way inside your business babble if they try to dabble in it and they hate the fact that they may have to witness you trying to aim for the top like this and you're in your element with a fire like hey there andy shepherd here with show stars face to face and i'm about to be joined by the two competitors from our huge main event will it be a story of redemption for our hometown hero on march the 5th or Will his opponent pick up the win for Team USA? It's Deji versus Alex Wasabi. Alex, Deji, thank you for joining me. And Fight Week has quite literally just got underway. You've both recently arrived at the Fighter Hotel. And I believe this is the first time you're getting to see each other face to face. Um, yeah. Alex, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, what are you seeing in the the eyes and well, the demeanor of Deji? Um. I think he, I mean, he looks pretty confident. I'm excited about it because he looked like that in the other fights, but he didn't really back it up. But this time, I think that I might get to fight the actual Deji. I think that uh, Jake and Vinny got to fight KSI's little brother, but I actually get to fight Deji, so I respect it. And Deji, a lot of appreciation there, which is nice. What do you see in Alex? Honestly, a lack of confidence. Hmm. And underestimating me. No, I don't underestimate you at all. I think I prepared for you to be the best that you are going to be, and that's what I believe you will be. I don't think you have. What? Prepared? Yeah. I've been training every single day. I've been training before you even asked me to box you, I was training. Okay, well, we'll see much with. Yeah. Mm. So I, uh, I have a question. So why did you ask me to fight? I don't know, I guess. You wanted to fight JJ, didn't you? But you... Yeah, then I, I like got to know boxing and the weight classes, but uh, were more of a match, yeah. But then, um, I don't know, you backed out, but mm -hmm. but now you can't back out now. So yeah. I, I just I just want to fight you, really. So what, what would you rate uh, Jake boxing-wise, from 1 to 10? I'd give him a solid 8. Eight, okay. Eight, nine, yeah. What about Vinny? Uh, Vinny wasn't that good, mm -hmm. but his cardio was really good. Okay, what, what would you give him from one to ten? Probably a three. So what would you give me? I, I don't know. I haven't fought you yet. You think I'm better than Vinny? Potentially. Oh, I was just wondering, because I just wanted to see if you're going from, like, just worst boxer in your mind. So I wanted to see where you thought I was at. I believe you might be better than, than Vinny. Oh yeah? But You think I think you would have I think you beat Vinny pretty much, but the cardio, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my cardio was terrible, I'll be yeah. honest. How's it now? It's good? Yeah. How how much did you weigh when you fought Vinny? Ninety three KG. Well did anybody know that in pounds? It's like two hundred and ten. Two hundred and ten pounds? Yeah. What are you now? I'm uh I don't know in pounds, but I'm seventy seven KG now. I think that's like 170. So you lost like 40 pounds? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's good. Thank you, man. How much do you weigh? About the same. Yeah, 170. Did you have to go up in weight or did you? I, was, I only had to go up like five pounds. Or like, I think I was like 165, 163. Okay. Yeah, so. That's not bad. Let's go. Hmm. Alex, you've said in the build up to this fight that you want Deji to show up. Yeah. You've come here for a fight. The, yeah. This is this is the year that you focus on boxing, and this yeah. is the start of that. This is it, yeah. When you look at Deji now, do you think the Deji that you wanted is going to show up on Saturday night? I think 100%. I think it's going to be a battle. I think it's going to be, we're going to go head to head, and I think it's going to go back and forth. Inevitably, I'm going to win, but I think it's not going to be easy. I think it's going to be, it's going to be an exciting fight. I think the fans are going to love it. Deji, yes. what version of you do you think or do you know is going to turn up on Saturday? Uh, the version of me that's going to turn up is the version that's going to destroy Alex. I'm going to go right through you, bro. Yeah. That's what you said, uh, that's what you said to Jake? That's what you said to Vinny? Yeah. Yeah, but I underestimated those events. I've had two events now. Yeah. How'd those go? You, you've had no events. I've had zero events, yeah. Like, you, apparently you're practicing ring walks. Is that is that true? You're practicing how to do ring walks? What do you mean? You're, you're practicing ring walks. What do you mean, what do I mean? 
practicing ring walks? Yes. Like walking to the ring? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you, you were referring to, I think you maybe made a comment saying that one of the unknowns about this event is making that walk in front oh, of the thousands. Oh, oh of you mean cornering. Oh yeah, I've been cornering uh, some pro fighters to get used to the, like being in the environment and being in the corner and hearing the coach like yelling and seeing the pressure that they're going against. So yeah, I've been practicing that, yeah. Mm. Have you done that? No, I don't need you haven't, to. You haven't cornered any fights? Events. True, true, true. I've been in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. You have them. I have not. You're right. How do you think you'll feel? Because you can walk to the ring with a fighter to be in the corner. Yeah. But it's so different when that is your walk. And particularly it's not your hometown. Yeah, true. You've come all the way here. Yeah. You're making that walk in front of a packed arena and you're stepping into a fight. Is there anything that can prepare you for, the, for what it's going to feel? Um, I've been talking to a lot of people, sports psychologists, uh, cornering people, trying to get prepared for that because that's the only thing that like you can't really get prepared for. And so, I mean, if I were you, that's what I would be hoping happens because the only way, that's the only way, it's not going to happen, but it, that's the only way you would have an advantage over me because I got the height. Uh, we weigh the same. Um, I got the reach. I, I, I yeah. I mean, so you have no excuses then? I have no excuses, yeah. Okay, perfect, cool. Perfect, yeah. Mm. Let's go. Deji, is there some added pressure on you? We talk about being in your hometown. Mm. We talk about your past performances, and you've spoken openly that you didn't prepare, particularly for your last fight. Mm. You didn't take it seriously. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel pressure to perform in front of your hometown on Saturday night? At the beginning, yes, I did. I did feel pressured, but then as camp carried on going, mm -hmm. my confidence was just building up. And then, yeah, now it's just time to show what I can do, March 5th. Same. We'll find okay, out. oh, here's another question. Okay. All right, so you switched camps, right? Yeah. Was it a coincidence that you did that less than a week after my strength and conditioning video went up? Because that, that's a pretty big coincidence. Mm, I don't know, what do you mean? Like my video went up, and then you saw how oh, hard I, I was working. I don't, I don't watch your videos, so I, I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Okay. So here's another question for you. Uh, you would say with your coach now, you, you're going 100%? Yeah. So were you not going as hard with your previous coach? No, I was. I just so, wasn't being tested. Meaning what? I was being the sparring. It was too easy for me. They were letting you get and, away and with And it things. wasn't meant to be easy. Mm. So... You were sparring light before, and so in the last five weeks, you've been sparring really hard. So you've been training at my level for the last five weeks that I've been training at for like four, week, four months. If that's what you think, then yeah. I, that's just what, I'm just looking at the facts. That's just what it seems like. If I switch camps because it was too easy, that means I wasn't going hard enough until my new camp, which was five weeks ago. So for the last five weeks, you've been going hard. But is that enough time? I've been going hard since my last fight with Vinny. Mm. I lost the weight. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will beat myself up because mm -hmm. that was a fight I should have won. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've just been training, training, training. Did you, that, that, there has been some talk about your preparations. We know that cardio has been one of your weak points, particularly in your last fight. Yeah. And Alex does make a point others have brought up, that changing camp six weeks out from a fight after Alex posted some training footage. Yeah. People have said, perhaps you saw that, perhaps there was some, there's some concern. Yeah. You're saying that none of that played into your decision to change camp six weeks out? No. What played into it was uh, me realising that I really wasn't being tested when I was sparring. I was getting the better of my sparring partner already. Within just a week. You only had one? You only had one sparring partner? Yeah, at the time, yeah. Oh, shit. Does that worry that, that, again, six weeks out from a fight, that's where your training camp was? Would you have preferred, in, in retrospect now, on fight week, that you'd been in the position you are now, ten weeks out? Yes, of course. Where I, where I am right now with Daily has been amazing. Like, I've been pushed past limits. 
Yeah. And I still carry on going. I think if you, maybe if you started with your new coach, then you would beat me, but I don't know. I think. Uh, like I said, you have no excuses. No, yeah, I have no excuses, yeah. So. Yeah. Alex, well, I, see, I see a lot of confidence in you. Yeah. Where's that come from? Deji's had two fights. Regardless of the outcome, mm -hmm. he's, ste he's made that walk twice. You haven't. Yeah. You know you've done training and we know you've been training for quite some time and been focused on this and again, you say this is the year you want to focus on this discipline, on yeah. this sport. But this is your first fight. Yeah. Where's that confidence coming from? The confidence is just from just doing the work. Like, my coach says do this, one more round. Do more, do more. I'm like, okay, do more, do more. Like, I, I'm worried that like, my shoulder's gonna break or like something's gonna, I'm gonna pull something. But he says keep going, so I keep going. Cause uh, I think the strength of a, a boxer is through his coach. Like he knows everything. Like I can't, uh, I can't act like I know anything. So I completely trust my team. I put all my faith in my team. Uh, they've made sure I've done everything I need to do. And that's just, that's the confidence comes from that. Like I never say no, I never, I never stop. So the one thing my, my coach taught me is self-belief. Yeah. And that's something that I lacked in my last fights. Like, uh, yeah, I had the bravado. I was saying, oh, I'm going to win, do this and all that. But I didn't really believe it. But this fight, I believe it. Did you want to win in your last fights? I did want to win, but there was still doubt in, my, in like the back of my head. Being yeah. like, only because I wasn't putting the work in. Why, what was it inside you, you think, that didn't drive you enough to do the work required? Laziness, my attitude, I lack discipline. That's what, that's what it was. I like, underestimated my opponents, that's what I did. Oh, okay. So you didn't underestimate me? No. Nice, that's what I want to hear, that's good. Let's go. Alex, you've talked a lot about, uh, about JJ, Alex's brother, the success he's had in that. Yeah. Deji is riding the coattails mm -hmm. of KSI. Tell me more about that, why do you think that? I just think, I mean, it's like you said, like, the I think the laziness it wasn't really your fault. It's just things came to you easily. So, um, you never had to push yourself. I'm not saying you're lazy. It's just you never had that pressure in your life. So, that's that's why. So I but now I think it took two losses. Like you said, uh, you had to lose your last fight to get to where you are now. Are you gonna fight again, even if you lose? No. Really? I'm not fighting. This is it? If I lose, I'm not fighting. No way. No. Why? You did all the work. That's, that's more pressure on your shoulders. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Again, we're talking about the hometown. We talk about the, t the two losses. We talk about how you felt following your last fight. And now to say that if you don't win this fight, you, you think you're done. Yeah. Is that, how does that make you feel walking into this fight? It's, it's like guided pressure in the sense that it's pushing me. Mm -hmm. to want to do the work so and ultimately like if I was to lose then clearly this sport isn't for me because that's I'll be 0 and 3. What do you make of, of Alex's points that your brother made things easier for you that that didn't fill you with perhaps the determination that others have had in this in this area? Isn't so it? with my YouTube career obviously I guess I did get a head start. It's not something that I wanted, but I did get the head start because when I was doing videos with my brother, obviously that elevated me as well. But then there was a period where we stopped making videos and I was just growing on my own. But that's, that's the period that a lot of people, I guess, forget. Yeah. That was a period that I pushed myself. And when I push myself, I achieve things. So that's how I know I'm going to achieve this win. Yeah. You're partially doing it for your brother? Let's talk bit? about that for a moment. You, yeah. You're saying... I'm doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. You said you want to donate a, a percentage of your purse or mm -hmm. a lot no, of your... all of it's going to my little brother's college, yeah. Um, he was kind of like a timid kid growing up and I tried to get him out of his shell and I had a big part of uh, raising him growing up. So, like, everything I do is pretty much for him. So, uh all of my purse is going to his college fund. I want my brother to, my brother to watch this and, and watch the fight and be like, wow, like I really can do anything and go to college like fully confident.
there's, you've spoken in some of the content that's been released recently about, about your brother, yeah. about what would mean to you to, to win on Saturday for him to come in and to give you a hug and you know, to, to, to earn his respect for you as a boxer. I've, I've, I've earned his respect already. It, it would just, I would just love to win because then we can like celebrate something together, you know what I mean? So, How much confidence did it fill you with when he, I think you sparred him recently, yeah. and he very publicly said, wow, De Deji's, Deji's made some leaps forward. Mm. That kind of comment from, from your brother, did that add extra confidence to you? Of course. Like, uh, anything he says really just fills me with confidence. Mm -hmm. And there's no way Alex is better than my brother or any of the sparring partners that I've been sparring, the professional sparring partners. Same, yeah, same. So. so Alex, this is your first fight mm. on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I know you've sparred, mm -hmm. you've done the preparation, but can anything prepare you, do you think, for the first time you get connected with from Deji? You mean the first time? The first punch? If the first time you land properly, can I've anything been, prepare you for that? I've been, I've been hit so hard in sparring. <laughs> like, the pros, like, it, it, it's, rough. it's hard to tell like how much better I've gotten because my coaches don't let me slack. Like, hard to tell even for yourself. Actually. It's hard to tell. I can't tell because as soon as I, like, I start getting the upper hand on, a, on, a, on a, my sparring partner, they switch in another one. And I'm like, oh, now i got to freaking learn how to work with this guy. Or uh, the guy turns it up more. And then so like, I've lost a lot of spars just because I can, they never give me somebody that I can beat. It's just always somebody I have to build up and I have to get better and I have to get better and, and then as soon as I do get better they switch somebody out so wait what pros have you been fighting uh what what do you mean like, like the names oh there's not like not like name like big pro I mean there's pros with like 20 and 0 or like yeah, 15 but what and 0 what are their names there's uh my boy Vlad is here there's Eli there's Damien there's uh Adrian there's Berquan there's I mean, there's what, what are their records uh, they're all around like they're all like 15 and no. There's uh, Vlad. I think he he's had 13 fights. He's 12 and one. Uh, I've sparred a lot of like amateur like Olympians that don't have like pro records yet. Did you, are you seeing some sort of perhaps naivety in Alex as someone who hasn't made the walk before? Yes. 100%. Do you think he's overestimating the work he's done? Yes. This is his first fight, and he's talking like he's he's a big shot really. But I just know what the work I've put in. Like, I'm not saying I'm a pro. I'm just saying I'm ready for you. Okay. Yeah. Did you, I don't believe he is, if I'm, if I'm being serious. You've already said you want to take this fight into the deeper rounds. Yeah. What do you want to show the world about yourself? I want to show the event? world that I can box. I want to show the world that, obviously, my last fight, I was just aggressive. I was just going for haymakers, just trying to close out the fight quick. For this fight, I want to show the world that I can actually box. That I can break someone down little by little and then just take them out. Yeah. Knowing that this is what Deji wants, yeah. does this excite you or does this intimidate you? No, it definitely excites me. Because honestly, I was expecting like, you're coming in like a brawler again, and I was like, man, I want to box. Like, this is not a street fight. I want to box. So hearing him say this, I've said this in previous uh, interviews. I'm like, yo, I want to, I don't want it to be easy. Like, I don't want a first round knockout, which it sounded like that's, like, he doesn't want that either. And I'm like, fuck yeah, we can go to the end. We can, like, make it till the very end. Like, both of us get hurt. Like, I, I he goes down, then power. I go down. Do I have knockout power? Yeah. Uh, I, it, what is that, what do you mean exactly? Like, you knock someone out. No, I'm not inspiring. No, have I've knocked you? them down. I've I've hurt them. I made them give up. But uh, no, I have not knocked anybody out. Have you knocked people out in your spot? Yeah, I've knocked people out. Oh, okay. Have have you, you, do you knock out power there? Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends. It's more the like the punches that you land. It's not really power. It's more like catching when you're not ready, hitting with punches that you didn't see coming. Like I don't go for the knockout. I go for the combo. I punch in bunches, and uh, if the knockout happens, it happens. But so you go for combo. Like, is that what you're learning? Combinations. Yeah. Okay. What do you? What are you not? I'm learning to box. So, Alex, you said that you want Deji the best Deji to show because mm -hmm. you want to display what you can do. On the other hand, you also want to show what you can do. This yeah. this fight is more than just about beating Alex. It's about showing what what Deji can do. That Deji can box. Yeah. Sitting here now, having had these conversations. 
do you think Alex is going to have enough in himself to give you the opponent you need to show your skills? I believe you'll have something. Yeah. But not enough. Do you think we could get an early finish here? Anything's possible with boxing. Like, one punch can change the whole fight. So, but I, I really believe that he, he doesn't have anything on the table. I'm just reading his demeanour, everything. I'm letting him talk majority of the time just to see, like, where he is, yeah. like, what he's thinking and everything, but... Yeah. No, no. Nothing. You... I mean, I just want to fight. I'm here to fight. All this stuff that we have to do is cool. Like, whatever, I just want to fight. That's the whole reason I accepted your challenge. You I now? just right now. Let's not do it right now, cause I. <laughs> you know. No, no, no. Do, it. do you want to find out? I we can if you want. Can we find out? You let me leave first. You guys can do what you want. But let's let's leave for Saturday. There's a pay per view to sell here, guys. Let's let everyone come. There's an arena full of people right. who want to watch this stuff. So for now, let's keep you guys down. Look, we've been sitting there talking now for quite some time. Mm. Alex, let me start with you. Yeah. Has your opinion? changed of Deji in any way. Is the Deji sitting here in front of you the one that you've been expecting? Uh, this is definitely the Deji I wanted. He, he, I think uh, he said all this, everything he said today, he said before, but I feel like today he's going to back it up. I feel like it's not going to be an easy opponent. I'm going to win, but it's, uh, it's going to be exactly what I wanted. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be epic. Like, it's going to be talked about all over the world. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Oh, Deji, yeah. I'm gonna ask the same question of you. We've now talked for quite some time. Mm. Is the Alex Wasabi sitting there the same one you thought was gonna turn up? Or is this a surprise? I haven't really thought about Alex Wasabi. I've just, like he said, I just wanna fight. Yeah. Like, uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna just go through you. I'm gonna just break you. I'm gonna yeah. eat you alive, bro, yeah. honestly. I'm gonna just. <laughs> How will people think about Deji? after Saturday night? A lot of people are underestimating me, mm. obviously, because of my last performances. So a lot of them are going to be like, okay, Deji puts in the work, Deji can achieve. Mm. And that's exactly what's going to happen on Saturday. They're going to, so you're saying after this, they're going to respect you as a boxer? Yeah. But right now they don't. Well, because I haven't really, maybe, maybe some people, They've uh, been like, okay, yeah, Deji's doing the work, but mm -hmm. ultimately it's it's fight night that's going to decide what's, you know, yeah. what people are really th like, thinking about and feeling. How much of this fight, of course, your opponent's sitting right here in front of you, but how much is it not only beating him, but again, proving to yourself, proving to everyone watching that you do have the dedication, you do have the work ethic? How do you mean? Like, again, you, you talked about the disappointment of your, yeah. your last performance, yeah. that you didn't put in the work. Yeah. How much of, of this fight is not only beating Alex, getting your hand raised, mm. but also proving to yourself and to everyone else. Oh, like, how, how, yeah. I mean, ultimately, yeah, this is something I'm, I'm fighting for myself because I, I want to, obviously, I'm fighting for other people as well to, to prove them wrong because, obviously, that's the best feeling ever. But I am fighting for myself to show myself that, yes, Deji, look, look what you can do when you put your heart and mind to things. And, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Like I said, March 5th, I'm going to win. My hand's going to be raised from the UK. Done, dusted. Then after party, and I just, you know, get turned. Let's <laughs> get have fun. And Alex, I'll give you this, the same question. Yeah. What will people be saying about you as you make your boxing debut in the main event yeah. on Saturday night? Well, I mean, I mean, like now that I think about it, we pretty much have the same opinion about us. We're both underdogs. So after this fight, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm just trying to show the world that I can box. Like, I put the work in. That's why I'm so confident. I put the work in. Like, Wait, you're, not, you're not doing this for relevancy, are you? No. I retired when you asked me to box. And I already retired. I was planning on taking like a year off. And then you asked me and I was like, oh, this dude's about to pull me out of retirement right before I even go into it. So you, what, you retired from, what do you mean you retired from? Like I was going to take like a year or two years off, see what happens, like explore other, I'm 31, I was going to explore other aspects of my life. i been doing this shit for like 16 years. So I was about to, and then you asked me, it was like YouTube was like, no, not yet, sir. So, what, so why'd you retire from YouTube? I was just, Is it because you're kind of diminishing? It was like, I was like burning out. It was like 16 years doing the same thing. It's, it was so, rough. So it's, done thousands you, of videos. You, you were burning out, not your channel. Uh, I think my channel was was not doing as well because of I was burning out. So doing it for so long, 
it, it, it was it's rough like if you do anything for 16 years that shit is real mm. yeah but i mean I'm, 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 I'm still here this is the only thing oh how long have you been doing like 12 years plus now oh, damn. wait 20 did you, do you like think 11 11 years plus are you are you think that alex has come into this fight to try and regain the, Put Rele yeah, I, I, I believe he's doing this for relevancy, 100%. Hmm. That's, that's what I believe. I believe um, his heart really isn't in boxing. He's saying all of this stuff, that, you know, his heart's in boxing, mm -hmm. he wants to do this, he wants to do... He's basically fooled himself. Um, let's have some final words. Alex, any final words for Deji as we head into this incredible fight week towards March 5th? Uh, last words, man. Um... May the best man win. That's all I can say. We both put in the work. I'm hoping you're telling the truth this time. I know I am. Uh, you look confident. This is we're about to get into a ring. I know it's my first time. This is a first time, first timer's opinion. But we're about to get in a ring. I'm about to get in a ring. You're about to get in a ring with a full-grown adult man trying to knock, turn the other one's brain off. That's crazy. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go. Any final words for Alex as we again head into this great fight week? Made the best man win, like you said. Yeah. It's Deji versus Alex Wasabi, top of the card Saturday night on Showstar Boxing.